Well, we know with the weather this weekend, a lot of people will probably head out to the water. So we want you to know parts of southwest Florida are seeing an increase in red tide. Yeah, Fox 4's Alexandra Ronhell is live on Pine Island this morning, and she's got the latest on our red tide levels. Good morning, Alex. Good morning. Uh, those results are from FWC. It's showing increasing levels of red tide, especially where we are right now in and along the Pine Island Sound. And it's not just here that we're tracking this. In the last week, red tide has been prevalent throughout Lee, Charlotte and Collier counties. You can see in these drone images by the Calusa Waterkeeper how widespread red tide is. These images were taken near Matlache Pass and Pine Island. Now take a look at this map. You'll see those orange and red dots indicating red tide levels that FWC considers medium to high. So what does this mean for some areas here in St. James City where results show a high concentrations of red tide? This can cause respiratory issues for some people, irritation and possible fish kills. Now, FWC is continuing to sample the waters. We're expecting a report actually later today. We'll have those results for you throughout the day, both on air and online at fox4now.com. For now, live in St. James City, Alexandra Hill, Fox 4.